Hi, this is Don with Roadrunner Photography Tours. I just want to show you real briefly the newest program from Topaz. It's called Topaz JPEG to RAW AI. It basically takes a JPEG file and converts it into an Adobe DNG file, which is, Do which is Adobe's open format RAW file standard, or it will convert it into a TIFF file. This is the interface of the program right here. And you can see there's not a lot of options. You just pick your import your file that you want to process and it basically says this is what I'm going to output it to. I've already processed this one file because it takes probably three minutes or so um, and that's going to vary depending on the speed of your computer to run this routine to process a file. Now there is an option for either a normal or high when it comes to noise and blur reduction. In this case I chose high because in the shadows of this file, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, there's really not a lot of detail and there's a lot of noise. And then you just basically say, do you want to save it to the same place the original one was? Do you, is there a suffix that you want to have? And then of course you choose your file fat format, whether it's DNG or raw. So uh, anyway, enough with that. And let's see, here's the original photo um, or the original JPEG photo. Nope, I'm wrong. I stand corrected. I've got them actually both loaded into Photoshop. And this is a 100% view of the original photo. This is Reese. She's a chocolate lab. She was very tired because she had been swimming and uh, retrieving and things that make Labradors happy. Anyway, you can see there's a lot of noise in the shadows. So when I... I wanted to try this one picture. I don't have a lot of files that I shot originally in JPEG because when I bought my Nikon D70, this was one of the first ones I shot with it. And then, of course, the shadows were so dark. And I'll show you the original file, what it came in as. The uh, Here's the original file you can see from 2004. And it'll load here in a second. Come on. Why didn't it load? Open. Here's the file. Open. Come on, Photoshop. What's the problem? I don't know why it's... Let's try this again. You know, you set up to record these little demos, and then, of course, things don't go as planned. Let's try again. There we go. Okay. Here's our original, this was my original file. At the time, I remember not really having the latitude to pull any details out of the shadows. And certainly raw processing has improved. Um, I'm going to, you know, bring this up into camera raw, which is, you know, in Photoshop. Um, and we're going to go up about 2.6 stops. And you can see that there's a lot of noise in the picture. So let's change our view to 100% and boom, you can just see that, you know, lots of noise, not a lot of detail. Now let's go ahead and open the uh, DNG file that I created from Topaz JPEG to RAW and I'll show you it's a, uh, it's a cleaner file. You can see the original file was 2.6 megabytes. The resulting converted file is 35 megabytes. So a lot more data there. Boom, just right away you can see this actually had been opened before and it was saving it. You can see that I had moved this up to 2.6 and then I actually just hit auto and it went to 2.6, did these other corrections. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and open this up and then boom, there you go, a much cleaner file and let's go to 100% view and you can see that um, at 100% you, you can see some uh, basically, I don't want to call them digital artifacts because that's probably not the right term, but basically the artificial intelligence is looking for things and trying to enhance edges and lines and features and so there's uh, and again, that's because I put the slider on high for noise and blur reduction. So it's basically trying to sharpen the file. But again, you know, much more to work at. And especially when you zoom back, um, 
I'm not going to, I don't think I was quite focused on her eye with this shot. Um, but you can see, you know, certainly much more detail in the fur and things like that than with the original. I mean, here's the original file that uh, was just basically the original JPEG I brought into uh, Photoshop, and it's noisy. Now, another way to approach this would be with a program that specializes in noise reduction. Um, but anyway, it's, uh, you know, like a lot of things in Photoshop uh, or with photo processing these days, there's multiple ways to get to your end destination. But I think this is a program that's worth considering if you have a large collection of JPEGs and you'd like to be able to go back and um, work with them with greater latitude. I think the program's worth considering. If you've just got one or two, maybe not so much. Anyway, thanks for taking a few minutes of your day to listen to me uh, explain this. I'll have a link to the program for download on either our YouTube page or our Facebook page. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye.